Hi there, I'm Stu. And I'm Megan. From Revolution Trailers, located at 1480 Springfield in Winnipeg, Manitoba. We are a professional travel trailer upfitting company and we pride ourselves on keeping travel trailers out of the landfills. Thank you to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Beddings for sponsoring today's video. Visit rvmattress.com forward slash floor to get 20% off your mattress with code floor. RV Mattress is the place to go if you're looking for a mattress for your van, camper, bus, or RV. They're made right here in the good old USA and provide next level comfort. They offer non-traditional sizes to fit perfectly into your lifestyle with different firmness options, heights, and dimensions. What you'll find will exceed your expectations. Shipping is free and the mattress comes with a 10 year warranty. Also, Brooklyn Beddings is so confident in their product that they offer you a 120 night sleep trial. So you get four months to make sure you love it. And if you don't, you get a full refund and they will pick it up for free. So there's zero risk to trying this out. I highly recommend you check out rvmattress.com forward slash floor to get 20% off your mattress with code floor. Check it out now and enjoy today's video. And remember to subscribe. Well, I've been doing a number of different things over the years. Renovating homes was the last thing I was doing. It was actually my wife that gave us the inspiration for this. My wife and I have had a couple of travel trailers at seasonal lots. She was always asking me to paint the kitchen because the kitchens are always dark. And she said, have you ever thought of renovating travel trailers instead of houses? Having a shop being in one place. Didn't have a ton of experience working on travel trailers particularly. Tiny houses, that was something we looked at at one time. It's difficult up here because our governments aren't as, as open as they are progressive. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. And then incorporating all the things you need to put into one of these if you're living in them full time. You've got 12 volt systems, 120 volt systems. You've got gas, you've got water, you've got sewer, you've got you know fresh water to haul. They're purpose built. And so you can take what's purpose built and then make it better. You know, to, to rebuild this from scratch would cost more than even buying it new. You don't need to reinvent the wheel, just make it better. The recycling component for us is, is giant, the three R's. You know, keeping, keeping these things, you know, this thing is 16,000, that's eight tons. So you take that and dump it in the landfill, 100 years from now it's gonna look pretty much exactly the same as it does now. So that's something we're really proud of is that people are bringing us some pretty ugly trailers and we're able to work with them, you know, and get them back to a point where they don't have to throw them in the garbage. Keep a running total of the number of pounds that we've kept out of the landfill. And I think it's been a while since I've updated it, but it was like 167,000 pounds of trailers that haven't ended up in the landfill. Megan brought that to the company and we've really embraced it as a, you know, as a pillar of our company to do that. Well, welcome to uh, our latest project in the shop here. It's a 2004 Sunnybrook Titan 36 foot fifth wheel trailer. The clients for this trailer are going to live in it full time in uh, Southern BC. So it makes a good trailer for that. We purchased this trailer on behalf of the clients here in Manitoba. They haven't actually seen it up close and personal yet. They've only seen it by picture and, and video. This is actually a switch for retracting and extending the bedroom slide out. So you can do that from outside. This is a, a giant, we call it the garage. It's got a huge compartment that goes all the way across the trailer. It also has a slide out tray that you can access from both sides, which is the full width of the trailer. So you can put all kinds of things on that. Most of the time, your plumbing runs on the exterior. What they've done on these trailers to give them a winter package, as they call it, almost all your plumbing, your fittings are all inside the body of the trailer. Then there's a frame, there's insulation in that frame, styrofoam insulation in the walls. So that gives it a little, a little more comfort in those cool things. This compartment used to be where the hot water tank is. Now we've removed it and we've put the hot water tank externally. It's got three simple connections, two little screws. It comes off, you can just put it inside the trailer. It replaces your normal hot water tank, which holds and heats a small amount of water. So it gives you instantaneous on-demand hot water. This is still accessible because there's a lot of water fittings inside there. You've got another storage component, and this is also where your wastewater valves are to drain your system. Again, they're inside the trailer where most of them are on the outside of the trailer. This is your furnace here. You've got a sewer tank flushing unit, fresh water coming into the trailer, your electrical system, exterior plugs, cable vision, which nobody uses anymore. We're installing a Starlink satellite. There you go, Elon, there's your plug. 
And the other compartment on the back of this trailer is where they store their, their power cable inside here and other things if they wish. We've added a fireplace to this one, so we have a chimney sticking through the, through the roof, which is highly unusual for an RV, but it's one of the things they want is there another supplemental heating system for it. This side of the trailer, there's also a couple of storage compartments. There's, that's the one thing with these things is there's lots of storage. You've got your jacks and different things inside there. And then on this side, battery compartment in here. One battery on this unit. The clients are actually supplying two large battery packs, which we're gonna wire into the unit. So when they're boondocking or off grid, they can have certain things running, which is gonna be their Starlink, their TVs, their laptop computers. They can run them off the battery packs. And so that battery there is basically for your 12 volt lights and a couple small control panels. You've got your propane tanks inside. And like I said, everything on these trailers is mounted inside the trailer up above the floor. So it helps with that wintering. More storage here. And this is the other half of the large garage that we saw on the other side. Again, with the slide out tray that comes all the way out here for lots and lots and lots of storage. And there's more storage inside the unit as well. So that was it for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Okay, well, we'll start here in the dining area. This is going to function as both a dining area and a work from home space. So we've added some storage in the bench area there. They've opted not to have a traditional booth set up in here so that they have that versatility to move it back and forward if they need a little bit more space. Freestanding chairs gives them the opportunity to move them around or use them wherever they're gonna be needed throughout. Lots of overhead storage in these things. Every little bit of storage helps. Um, typical couch, they often come with fold-out couches and stuff like that. We've opted just to have a, a nice simple couch in here. In the original design of this trailer, there was two like lounge chairs in the back area here. The clients really, really wanted to incorporate a wood-burning stove into the area. They actually sourced this specifically. It's a British-made stove called Salamander, but we also had some space raising it up. So we wanted to make sure that we could use that space. So we've got nice deep drawers here that can store all kinds of things. The um, wood storage area here has three compartments for storing wood and kindling and things like that. And then I've taken the handle off, but this actually lifts up and they have a vacuum cleaner that's gonna be stored and charged in there so that they can use it throughout the space. Um, originally, this was a whole built-in area that had a TV that just sat on the counter. Um, it had a desk that pulled out here and some fairly ornate cabinetry that was located at the top, but they wanted to be able to incorporate this TV they're gonna be putting the um, battery packs below here for um, some of their off-grid purposes. Um, we kept the drawers, but we were able to kind of open up the space a little bit and make it a little bit more usable for their needs. Still a lot of storage place and everything gets tucked away. So all the components for the TV are actually located inside there. So it keeps a really nice clean spacious countertop there. We went with herringbone butcher block just to give it a little bit more of a unique personality and a bit of warmth to it. Because we took some cabinetry out of different places, these cabinets came from some of the cabinetry that we had taken out of the bedroom to accommodate the larger bed. So we were able to reuse quite a bit without having to do anything custom. So we've got typical propane powered stove hood fan. They're actually going to have a microwave that they keep tucked away under the cupboard and only bring out for when they want to use it. Quite a large fridge for an RV. Originally there was a, a microwave in the middle of it with a little bit of storage and some open storage above. Um, they didn't want to have the microwave but wanted to have more pantry space so we were able to give them a, a fairly large pantry space here where they should be able to keep a lot of stuff in there. We went through about 15 different sinks before we found one that would fit in the space. Finding one that's small enough for a, a non-traditional depth island was a bit of a challenge, but um, we found this beautiful hand-hammered copper sink. We redesigned the island a little bit. Originally, there had been door access on both sides of it. Our client really wanted to incorporate a bit of a farmhouse feel in this X design. Changed it around a little bit 
kept the same openings on the front side, but we were able to give them a little bit of this design aesthetic that they were after. So we have master switches that basically activate the slide outs and then the switches that move the slide outs in and out. But basically it comes right in and when you get to where you're going, it slides right out. And as you can see, it really makes quite a difference in the amount of space that you have in here. So up here we have the bedroom bathroom area. So we have a full size, full height shower here. This particular unit actually has a washer dryer inside, so you can do all your laundry. And then this is the water closet. Um, client chose a very, very fun wallpaper for in here. We've added a mirror on the back of the door. Um, and then this one has the sink area. Put a smart tile backsplash in and went all the way up to the ceiling. Um, swapped out all the lighting in this area. So we have actually on dimmer switches. They really wanted to have their lights on dimmer. So pretty much every light in here has that ability. Um, and then we, originally there was quite a small sink and a very small tap in here, so we were able to give them a bit of a bigger sink. This family is going to be working from home, um, both of them are remote, so we have, as I mentioned, the dining space as a workspace, but we also have this one, and this has the ability to, see if I can do it, so it folds down and out of the way if space is needed, um, but very easily pops up and laptop and um, whatever she's going to need for work. And then that brings us into the bedroom. So it was a queen size bed and having a king size bed was something that was very important to this family. Originally the bed actually came out of the slide in. We've made this as the wardrobe closet. So we have four big deep drawers. We've got two um, full size cupboards for hanging. And then the bed also flips up and there's a whole bunch of storage underneath the bed. We added a bedside table with storage there as well. And when the slide out comes in, it actually slides in underneath the bed. So this whole part comes right up basically to the edge of the bed here um, so that we were able to maximize every inch that we could possibly get out of here. That's basically how we made a queen size bedroom into a king size bedroom. Every single project is different. That's part of the fun is the creativity. It's oftentimes standing in the corner going, hmm. You know, can we do that? We say if you can dream it, we can probably do it. I'm not going to say we can do it because, you know, there clearly are some things yeah. that we couldn't do. But if you think something would be really cool, there's a, a good chance that it can happen.